In this video, we are going to learn topic 10, Special Probability Distribution. In the first subtopic, 10.1, Binomial Distribution, the course learning outcome, students should be able to identify the binomial distribution, find the mean and variance of binomial distribution, find the probability by using binomial distribution. Objective 1. Identify binomial distribution. Okay, let's say you in the kitchen making donuts. From your experience, 2 out of 5 of your donuts are burned. If you are going to make 15 donuts, what's the probability that your donut will not burn? So here we can use statistical formula to calculate the probability. The criteria of binomial distribution. First, the number of trial must be fixed. Second, each trial must have two possible outcomes. That is, probability of success, that is P, and probability of failure, that is Q. Formula for Q is 1 minus P. Third, the trial must be independent. Means that the trial will not affect the, the another trial. Fourth, the probability of success on each trial is identical. How to identify binomial distribution? Identify it from the types of data it used. For binomial distribution, it's a discrete distribution. So we must know that the question will use discrete types of data. So the discrete types of data can be known by counting. For the example below, we will match with the whether it's discrete or continuous. First example, a fair die is thrown and have six possible outcome. So here it use the object is a dice. So a dice have six surface. So it has six number. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So it's clearly a discrete data. Second, in a box there is 20 apples and 2 out of 5 is bad. So here we have 20 apples. So we, we have uh, the value of n here. Okay, And the apple is uh, a discrete types of data. So that's why this example is discrete distribution. Third, weight of a box of apple is 10 kilogram. So the kilogram is a continuous measurement so for this example is a continuous distribution for example of the mathematics max max also is a continuous measurement so it is continuous distribution we also can identify binomial distribution if it has two outcomes uh, that is probability of success and failure the probability of success, it doesn't have to be a positive thing. For example, it also can give the probability of defect in manufacture. So, a defect is not a positive thing. But we can assume it as a probability of success since we interest in defect. And if event does not have two possible outcomes, it can be redefined. For example, in football match has three outcomes. There is win, draw and lose. If we define win is a success, it is a probability of success. And draw and lose will become probability of failure. Now, we look at the example and we try to identify the binomial distribution. Let x is a discrete random variable which represents the number of successes in an independent trial. So here, we have example, flip a fair coin 5 times and probability to get head is 0 0.5. Find the probability of head appear. So here, it gives the uh, two possible outcome, whether it get head or not. So and in this example also, we can 
we can identify the value of n is 5 times because the coin is flipped 5 times. Means that we uh, let x equal to head appear with n equal to with n equal to 5 and p is 0 0.5. So if we write probability x equal to 0, meaning that there is no head appear because x we define as a head appear. So if x equal to 0, meaning that no head appear. If we write probability x equal to 1, means that 1 head appear. Next example, given 20 apples, the probability of getting bad apple is 0 0.3. Find the probability of bad apple. So this is a discrete because it gives apple same as coin. It, when we flip a coin five times. So it gives uh, two possible outcome. Whether we get bad apple or good apple. So here we can define x as a bad apple. N is 20 and P is 0 0.3. So, for no bad apple, we can write as a probability x equal to 0. It is known probability patient recover is 0 0.45. By selecting 10 patients, find the probability of patient recover from disease. So, here we also have two possible outcome. That is whether the patient is recovered or not. And it also have the n number of trial that is 10 patient so binomially we have x is a patient recover we have x is a number of patient recover n is 10 and p is 0 0.45 so if there is no patient recover means that probability x equal to 0 Now, we look the notation of binomial distribution. So, x is binomially distribute. We use b, stand for binomial, with n trial. So, we put n here. And the probability of success is p. So, this is how we write the notation. Example 1, a fat die is thrown 5 times. Find the probability of obtaining exactly 3 times the number of 6. So in this example, let's say x be the event, the number 6 is obtained. So the die is thrown 5 times, so the trial is 5. And probability to get the number 6 is 1 over 6. Means A fair die means that the probability of getting each surface or each number on dice is same. So we write into the notation of binomial. And since the question asks the probability obtaining exactly 3 times the number of 6, means that x is a 3. Example 2, a bias coin where the probability of obtaining a tail is 1 over 3, is thrown 4 times. Find probability getting no head. So here it gives probability of tail, but the question asks for head. So we have to understand here that if we getting no head, means that we are getting all tail. For 4 trial, we get all tail. So let's say x is a tail is obtained and we throw it four times. So we have n equal to four. Probability given is one over three. So the notation is like that. And the question is since it asks for no head, means that we are getting four tail since our x is a tail. If we define x is a head, so means that probability will be 2 over 3 and our x probability x equal to 0, no head.